It's spring in St. Paul. Time to take a stroll along the river, sample the new food trucks, and check out the city's semi-annual art show and sale, the St. Paul Art Crawl. This spring's crawl is the weekend of April 24th through the 26th. I'm here with my friend Winna Bernard of the St. Paul Art Collective. In just a minute, she'll fill you in on all of Art Crawl's signature events. But first, I want to tell you about a new stop at the St. Paul Art Crawl showcasing new young talent. And I've got something special as well. I'll see you in just a minute. St. Paul Public Schools Creative Arts High School is a place that challenges students and academics while they pursue their artistic visions. I'm here with Randy and our teacher at the Creative Arts High School. Randy, tell us how the high school is participating in the Spring Crawl. Every year we participate at the our crawl at the Tills Nora Northern. Three years ago we moved our building down to downtown St. Paul and we're opening up our space for our young artists to be part of the art crawl. We have some great examples, um, K through 12, uh, photography, graphic design, drawing and painting, sculpture will all be on display and it's, we're just really excited to have the general public come in and check out all the great talent that's happening in St. Paul Public Schools art rooms. Oh, you heard it here. The future of St. Paul's art scene right here at Creative Arts High School. Come on by and check it out. Nick, where are you? Now I couldn't make a trip to Lower Town without stopping by St. Paul's lovely new ballpark, CHS Field. My friend Annie tells us how the Saints are involved in Art Crawl. Well, we've had a wonderful relationship with the St. Paul Art Collective and last year we had a lot of fun doing this art and baseball uh, contest and AZ Gallery and then Union Depot were involved. This year we're doing home plates and they're going to be submitted to the Art Collective board and then they're bringing them over here in the press box of CHS Field and we'll have amazing pieces like this to be on display and people get to do participate in the silent auction to bid on them up here in our press box at CHS Field. So we're very excited. Meanwhile, at the Lower Town Lofts Artist Co-op, I heard about an exhibit that just might give you butterflies. This is Shelley Losey, the creative force behind Art Equals Real Transformation, a nonprofit which seeks to heal through art. Shelley, tell us about it and your involvement with Art Crawl. Okay. A friend of mine, we started Art Equals Real Transformation about a year ago. Uh, we, the whole purpose is to deinstitutionalize the institutions by putting artwork in them. We realized that state-run hospitals, um, county-run detox centers, homeless shelters really lack the budget to make those spaces beautiful for the people that are there for help and healing. And that really leads into what we're doing for Art Crawl because since what we do is transform spaces, we're going to transform our hallway on the fourth floor here at Lower Town Lofts Artist Cooperative. And all the pieces have been donated, so it's a fundraiser. And we picked two strong symbols of transformation, the butterfly and spring. We specifically chose the monarch butterflies because they're um, being put on the endangered species list. A lot of people don't know that there's been a 97% drop in the monarch population in the last 17 years. So 10% of the money goes to the monarch watch and the rest of the donation money goes to Art Equals World Transformation so we can put more artwork in more buildings. What a great cause and a really cool stop on the St. Paul Art Crawl. Baseball and butterflies, that's pretty cool. And folks should really check out all the future artists at Creative Arts School. Now I bet all the art crawl favorites are back. They are, and first of all, I talk about the passport, which is back, where you take this passport from building to building and you get stamped. Um, in this crawl, this is pretty exciting. The grand prize is a $400 gift certificate to buy art from a local artist in the art crawl. That's the first time we've done that, so that's pretty exciting. To find out all the information regarding the art crawl, Go to the stpaulartcrawl.org and there you're going to find a list of the artists participating, all the buildings. There will be a map which will include parking. There's also information regarding the free transit um, bus rides which includes the Green Line. Then there's listings about all the activities, performances and music. It's all right there, stpaulartcrawl.org. And just get out and enjoy spring in St. Paul. See you at the Art Crawl.